<clears throat> so is a supercar worth it? I don't know, man. That's a good question. It depends on who you ask, right? You guys know that I have a supercar. Certainly not my first one. It's more like the fourth or the fifth one. You know what? Let's talk about that. This is kind of cool. I'm going to bring my sunglasses today. Sunlight. Yippee ki yay, motherfuckers. <laughs> Looks like there's no rain. Unbelievable. Anyway, if you love Lamborghinis, hit subscribe. <coughs> if you love uh, supercars, hit subscribe. <coughs> and if you love uh, supercars, <coughs> not supercar, super trucks, hit subscribe. <coughs> I messed up there. Um, if you love entrepreneurship, I'm touring that kind of bullshit, hit subscribe. Do it. <coughs> hmm. viewers would like to come and help volunteer let me know so right now we got uh, boxes shitload of boxes the fucking hard work has just begun look at all that that's gonna take like the whole damn weekend I know it huh. and you're probably coming along so don't start smiling So, is a supercar worth it? It depends on who you ask, man. You ask me. You know, sometimes I tell myself I talk too much, you know what I mean? People on the streets. That's because I care. <laughs> I try to get my point, point across. And, oh, look, it's a house for sale. That one right there. Looks like Herman Munster's house. <laughs> no. I stay away from that. But look, there's a nice view over here. Water. I don't know if you can see that right there. Let's go back to our topic though. So, is a supercar uh, worth it? I, for me, I would think so. In, in fact, absolutely 100%. Let's start with First important thing, the cost. Um, I'm gonna do a separate video, by the way, specifically on the cost of ownership. You know, of these like supercar, you know, or supercars, or well, in, in in this case, the Lamborghini Aventador S Roadster. And there is, I think that a lot of people don't talk about, which is the cost of ownership. You know, remember you're trying to acquire the car right there's a cost right there but then here's the thing after it's in the garage <laughs> it's a whole separate cost that waits awaits you you know so is a supercar worth it i believe so especially if you do business you know if you're not doing any business or any businesses i would say no if you're into showing off that's cool but it gets old after a while, dude. I mean, I'll tell you right now. I mean, how, how many thumbs up can you get? You know, until your ego is... <laughs> your head is blow, blowing up to the sky, you know? Um, after a while, it gets old. Very old. I would say if you're doing business and you're a very uh, serious entrepreneur, it's nice to pull up in a Lamborghini or a supercar. People take you kind of seriously or a little bit seriously than just pulling up in any car, you know? Because they're like, whoa, not my cross their mind. Like, does this guy rent this car? But then it's hard to believe that somebody would do that, rent a supercar to show up in the meeting, you know, and then trying to close the deal. So um, that's in my experience. I've experienced that, you know, where all of a sudden you're negotiating a deal or business deal and it is extremely easy because you just kind of you know instead of repeat yourself seven times on the same pitch same same reason why they need to do the deal whatever that deal is it's it's like you just talk one time and 
and let let the situation and the car they were talking, you know? That's like no joke. That's a true story. That's exactly what I do. Most of the, most most of the time. It just kind of give confidence to the other guy that meeting you up that hey, you know what? You kind of know what you're doing. You wouldn't show up in this expensive artillery, right? Versus showing up in like a Hyundai or any normal car. I don't even think show up in a Mercedes would do the trick, to be honest with you. It's a Lamborghini, man, or a Ferrari, or a McLaren, or something like that, you know? Then people kind of go, wow, I kind of, maybe this guy is a bit eccentric, you know? So, <laughs> makes it easy. <laughs> so, yeah, so, I would say it's pretty worth it for you doing business. But if you're not doing business, you're just going to showboat, walk around, and all that bullshit, or do it for women, for girls. I don't know, it gets over that after a while. Now, can a supercar... Uh, help you get late <laughs> it depends what brand <laughs> I can tell you that the Lamborghini now just so you guys know I'm, I'm married okay but there were many occasions where I forego many occasions that I forego like if I was an asshole and I, I want to get late <laughs> this will be the car and the Lamborghini will be the brand dude, because you don't have to do much <laughs> They come to you, kind of thing, you know. Like they throw the, they throw themselves at you. But I'm married, so I, I just pretty much just kind of ignore it, or I just say tell them I'm married. And even with that, like I had a couple of girls twerking and shit in front of me. You know, I swear to God, the ass right here. <laughs> and I just like, hey, I'm married, sorry. And she, she didn't give a fuck. She was still twerking, <laughs> and her girlfriend's uh, in front of the car blocking the, the driveway. <laughs> Anyway, that, that, that was a pretty funny story. So here's my Vegas trip right here. <laughs> Just, you know, you gotta, you gotta visualize and imagine. So this is kind of like a Vegas trip, <laughs> my Vegas trip at the moment. As you can see, ain't no shit here. <laughs> but it's cool though, it's the woods, right? So it's, you know, all that. Right past that is the water. So anyway, that's uh. I'll show you guys a little bit of the environment around here. <laughs> Fuck it, let's go over there. See what's going on. Get to know the fucking neighborhood. Jesus Christ. I have not walked around here, man. This is the like first time. So you guys, you know what? You, you get to come along <laughs> for the uh, for the tour. I'm not gonna shoot their address though, right? Just what it looks like. So wow, look at this big ass fucking house. Sorry. Huh. Hmm. That's cool. Keep walking to this thing here. Oh, dude. Oh, I can't wait to show you guys this. Ready? Ready? Keep this. Hmm. Look at that. That's the water, guys. Right there. Right there. Hmm. Man, I gotta. See, it's been raining, you know, every day since I got here. That's kind of cool, man. All right there. By the way, the, uh, I guess the video footage does not, um, does not make this view or give it serious justice. Let me kind of walk over here. Neighborhood crime. Okay, well, let's make sure I don't come off like a fucking crime. Oh, they're building some homes over there. Check it out. They're building houses right there. Up uh, right there in that all those area there. Now you guys will watch uh his cemetery and shit. That's it right there. Do not cross that barrier. The barrier was meant not to be crossed. It doesn't say any private road. Fuck that. I'm not gonna walk down there, dude. It's kinda spooky. I should say that if I was gonna walk down there, today's the day. <laughs> Cause it's pretty bright, see? Oh man, I'm trying to not make sure I don't get to their address and shit in here. Oh man, it's a beautiful thing to see that. Hmm. You know what, if I cross the barrier. <laughs> the barrier is meant not to be crossed. 
So why am you why are you crossing, dickhead? Because I'm stubborn. <laughs> oh shit. You know what? I'm just gonna keep walking on there and see what what's up with this. Hmm. So like I said, it's supercar. Uh, is a supercar worth it? Yes, I say if you do business, like I said, you know. But I don't think it's really worth it, though, if you're a narcissist, you know, which is kind of weird, right? Because you gotta be a bit of a narcissist to like supercars, I think. Because why the fuck would you drive that <laughs> that car around if you don't want to be seen? <laughs> so it's kind of cool, get stroked, get jerked off all day from. You know, people on the streets, they'll give you thumbs up, dude, all day. People pull out cameras. You'll feel like a rock star, you know. I get, I get assure you. But, you know, if that kind of stuff bugs the shit out of you, then <laughs> it's not for you. You know what I mean? Alright, guys, I'm right now literally next to the water. Well, very close to next to the water. This, uh, this fucking black dog, dude. Hope he's gonna come bite my ass. Oh, that's not a real dog. <laughs> Is this real or not? No, uh, fake dog. Oh shit, it's real. It's right there. <laughs> mm. It's not a private road, it doesn't say it, or else I would have never walked down here. So if anybody say anything, I'll just, I apologize and just walk away. Like this guy right now. Okay, I think it's kind of good. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> okay, doggy, good doggy. I think that's a real bodyguard telling me to fuck off right there. Right there. You boo. Got it. I got his memo. I got his memo, guys. Oh, fuck. Now I gotta walk up that way? Oh, God. This is gonna fucking suck. This is gonna suck right now. <laughs> Walk up. It's like a nice 80 degree incline here. <sighs> so I just hiked from way down there, all the way to here, back to my own place. Hope you guys can appreciate I'm doing this with you guys. Trying to make this fucking video. <sighs> anyway, so here's my place right here. It's kind of cool to hang out right there. You guys know that car, right? Link down in the description. Or just scroll through all the cool videos. You'll see this car. Fuck. Okay, so. One of the cool thing, I think owning a supercar in terms of if supercars worth it, is this. When, uh, if and when, you approach your garage. I know about if there's any girls, shout out to any ladies watching this video. But this is gonna pertain to women right now, oh, men right now, sorry, to dudes. See, us guys, we like to uh, get our ego stroke, not just like, like stroke a little bit, like a lot. So, what we do is, I assure you. If you have a husband or a boyfriend that love to, you know, has quite a bit of an ego, he's gonna like to come to the garage when you're sleeping and do this. <sighs> Open the garage. Now here's the thing. As you can see, there's motorcycles, right? So if your guy or your boyfriend, your husband, 
If his ass into a motorcycle, this is what he's gonna do. I'm gonna come check this out just like this. No, it's all good. I'll just shut my garage real quick because it's just bikes, right? Follow me now. Follow me. Okay, I don't wanna lose you. Now, this garage, right? We come over here and the guys, your guy is into trucks. You'll see this. And you'll stand there and take a look. You know. You'll he'll come out here while you're sleeping just to check on his uh your, his real baby. <laughs> his real baby. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna do it again, but let me shut the garage to kind of create the effect. Now here is what our uh, uh, supercar guys do <laughs> when you have a an eagle that's you know the size of a huge ass mountain. <laughs> we'll do this and we'll open the garage. Same thing from from there, except if you have all the shit and you, you see there you go. There's a diamond beast right there. So then we'll stand back here and just admire it of man look how beautiful she is in this case you got the Shelby bees the not the, the diamond bees now in my case it goes something like this this fucker will be open too <laughs> so then all of the garage are wide open and I get to see it all like this Amazing. Anyway, this car is blocking. So. <laughs> but <laughs> this is so. Is a supercar worth it? I would say more like super super garage <laughs> worth it. So and then you know an occasional cool selfie, click, you know things like that. But is 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 a supercar worth it? <laughs> Fuck yeah, it is. Every minute of the day, even when she's just sitting in the garage, just knowing that you have it in the garage. So you know what? For those of you guys, Savage Kurt, <laughs> I know you're watching. So anyway, I'm telling you, it is. You know, <laughs> let's check it out for a second. See how a lot of room right here. Obviously, that's not an accident. I made sure after the crazy wheel escapade being transported <laughs> link down in the description for that <laughs> there's enough room here see when you're when you're the owner and you you actually care about your pro uh, your your stuff on your property you do you know you try to have enough room same thing here enough room on this side as well there's a motorcycle something's missing which is a harley right uh it's still at the warehouse where the trans car transporter guy uh, have it at the warehouse, so I, I, I have to call him and get, uh, like, set an appointment to go get it. Anyway, I just want to wrap up the video for now. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Shout out to you if you enjoying this thing on this video on the toilet. Extra shout out. Other than that, if you love Lamborghinis, you subscribe, subscribe. If you love a uh, super car, subscribe. <coughs> if you love super trucks, please subscribe. <coughs> and of course, if you love entrepreneurship, mentorship, things like that, please subscribe. Do it. <coughs>